Speaking of the rain we had last night, people in the Pittsburgh area are also dealing with some storm damage. That rain last night brought more than three inches of rain, which is a record for September 1st. Brenda Waters is live in Squirrel Hill with the cleanup efforts that are happening there. Brenda. Hi, David. Uh, water and sewer crews began working about an hour ago. This is Felino Construction behind me when this bus goes by. You see the hole over there? They dug that about an hour ago. Now they're trying to figure out what triggered last night's flooding. Now workers know that it's a sewer line, but they haven't determined yet if it ruptured or it's just clogged. And a section of this uh, street, Murray Avenue, is also closed. Meantime, several business owners are just waiting for answers. It seemed to many the rain was never going to let up. And it didn't for hours, prompting emergency crews to jump into action along a section of Murray Avenue in Squirrel Hill. It was just coming, coming up fast. Uh, before you knew it, it was up about the ceiling. In the basement? In the basement, you know, good six foot. With six feet of water or more. All you can do, we called fire department, and thank God they came in. In uh, they were they were a great help. The fire department pumping the water out. They left here around eight o'clock, so from 11:30 to eight o'clock in the morning. They were here for us. So what caused the water to build up? It was explained. It was a sewer break, a uh, a mixture of rainwater and raw sewage, mm -hmm. in uh, on Murray Avenue. In just a plug, and it, and it popped. Besides the water damage, those affected businesses are in the dark. They're saying power won't be uh, probably on for about three days, so anybody who's coming, expect uh, for a wait. So those businesses affected, the three behind me, one, two, three, right there to the hair braiding salon. They're all affected and they're all waiting right now to find out when things can go back to normal. Reporting live in Squirrel Hill, Brenda Waters, KDKA News.